Many parents are still deciding how to safely get their kids back to learning this fall. Well, just today, doctors said parents should send their kids into the classroom despite COVID-19 concerns. GHB 11's Jordan Howington reports. Fear has taken over everybody's minds right now. Lindsay Taylor is a mom of three and one of many determining whether or not to send her children back to the classroom this fall. I still am like 60 40 school districts across the state are giving parents options in class learning or at home virtual learning. But the thought of COVID-19 spreading in the classroom has parents like Taylor torn because you just want to protect your kids from everything. The American Academy of Pediatrics came out with this report Tuesday calling for parents to send their kids back to the classroom because social isolation could be more harmful than the risk of catching the virus. Pediatric Dr. Jerry Byram at All for Kids backed the AAP. COVID-19 is just not that terribly dangerous to small children, even if they catch it. And we know that there are dangers if you are socially isolated for too long. How much more dangerous can social isolation be for kids? The longer it goes, the more dangerous it is. According to AAP, evidence from spring 2020 points to negative impacts like high risk of mortality from abuse, substance use, anxiety, depression, and suicidal ideation. And Dr. Byram says it's critical kids don't get too far behind in learning. You've got just a little window and uh, to learn to read. And so studies show that if you miss that window, then again, you're not going to read as well. You're going to be behind for the rest of your lives. This doesn't mean schools are relaxed on safety precautions. Byron says doctors like himself are working with teachers who are creating a safe learning environment for children. Trying to hold down the, the movements of kids and others in the class to kind of minimize the, um, the exposure. I trust them for now and hopefully that's how it plays out. In Little Rock, Jordan Howington, THV 11 News. The AAP has a list of safety measures on its website that school districts can implement this fall, like mask use and rapid response temperature check policy.